have President of Kenya here, uh, President Kenyatta. It's an honor to welcome you to the White House, the Oval Office. Good to see you again. And, uh, you know, uh, the U.S.-Kenya uh, strategic partnership is essential. We both, I think, believe is essential to uh, addressing key regional and global challenges. And I want to thank Kenya for your — thank you for your leadership in uh, defending the peace, security, and democratic instincts of the region and your country. You're doing a heck of a job. And, uh, and now you are uh, — you know, Kenya is currently the president of the uh, U.N. Security Council. I mean, thanks for letting us stay in. <laughs> but all kidding aside, thank you. Thank you very much. And we're continuing our, uh, our shared fight against COVID. The United States has donated 2.8 million doses of vaccine to Kenya as part of a 50 million doses we've donated to the African Union. And I'm proud to announce that uh, today that we're making an additional historic one-time donation of 17 more million doses of J&J &J vaccine uh, to the AU. And we're going to be sending some more of the, by the end of the year to Kenya. And today we're going to discuss uh, what more Kenya and United States can do together on the Horn of Africa to advance peace and security. And we're also going to talk about strengthening the financial transparency and accelerating economic growth. You've spoken to that, Mr. President. I want to talk to you about that. And uh, the fight against climate change. So our, our nations share a deep commitment to fairness and to uh, respect and equity, and I'm committed to further elevating our ties with Kenya and uh, nations across Africa as a whole. But Kenya is the key to this. So welcome, Mr. President, and uh, delighted to have you here. Thank you very much, Mr. President. And uh, let me once again say it's a great pleasure to see you once again. I don't know whether many will recall, but uh, President Biden, in a former life, visited Kenya, where we had an opportunity to meet when he was vice president when he had come over again on issues related to strengthening the partnership and the relationship between our two countries. And it's really a great pleasure and honor to see you uh, again. Let me also take this opportunity through you to thank your government and the people of the United States. During this very difficult time, the United States has done its best to step up in terms of not only helping Kenya, but the African continent in general with regard to access to vaccines. Happy to hear your new announcement of that increase because, as many of you will know, as a continent, we are lagging well behind the rest of the world in terms of being able to uh, um, vaccinate our people. So any additional support, like the President has just mentioned, is greatly welcomed, and uh, we look forward to that continued partnership. We're also very closely partnering, especially in regard to um, the fight against terrorism globally. The United States has been a very strong partner to Kenya in that particular fight, and uh, this is an area, again, I am hoping to have an opportunity to further discuss with the President. We are also keenly and very grateful with his strong position, especially with regard to climate change. This is an area where Kenya has made tremendous progress in her own right and where we are firmly committed to um, the Paris uh, agreement, and we're glad to see the United States has now rejoined. And we look forward to working very closely together on that particular agenda, which, as you know, our country, our continent is the least in terms of emitting, but pays the highest price. So we welcome your, your, your leadership in this area, and I look forward to having the opportunity to, to discuss that further with you. Keenly also wanting to engage, as we have been already with the President, on the issue of trade and investment between our two countries. This, I believe, is vital, not only in terms of 
further entrenching American interests on the continent, but also in helping us also achieve our social economic agenda. So that's another agenda that we are also going to be engaged in. So, Mr. President, let me just say it's, it's, it's wonderful to see you again. It's wonderful to be back here, and uh, I look forward to fruitful deliberations as we move forward. So do I. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.